Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Right. So today, what I'm about to do this evening, this excellent evening, is a Mahajime's anniversary read. Right. <clears throat> Mahajime's anniversary read. Let's see what is going on with Mahajime myself. Right. Since this is my anniversary, my first year is Mahajime. Yes. Leading Dove Nation. I love it. It's been wonderful, right? You guys are so awesome. <sighs> we ain't going through nothing, right? We're not. Doesn't matter what they say or show. We're not going through anything. They are, right? So, with that being said, Mahajime's anniversary. What do we have? We have a sun card. Come on, speak to me. We have the sun card and we have the a knight of swords to, uh, well, to go with it, really. Not clarify, but to go with it. So we have the sun card and the knight of swords, right? Wow, it doesn't want to talk to me. Why not? Well, I don't know. There's some surprise there. So, I guess I'm going to leave that part alone because there's some type of surprise there. And that's cool. So, I'll move on to the um, the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So, someone's in their feelings, right? This Somebody's in their feelings, right? This, this Mahajime is looking great. She's looking awesome. This is Mahajime's anniversary. So, if, you, if you're already triggered, click off, please. Right. So, Mahajime is feeling awesome. She's looking awesome. She got chicks in tears. You know, she got people, right? People is just like in tears over Mahajime, right? But on the flip side, people are in tears over the growth of Mahajime, right? They have watched Mahajime go through a lot. They have been broken down along with Mahajime, but they are loving Mahajime. They're like, thank you you god she has survived she's beautiful she's awesome she's gorgeous and we just love her right up next we have the six of swords and the page of cups right and that's just talking about how mahajime rules mahajime rules with an iron thumb an iron fist an iron everything an iron brain an iron heart Meaning that whatever she loves, she encompasses and takes excellent care of, right? Mahajime does not play about anyone or anything. And you can tell that Mahajime has been training for her position ever since she was a child with that page of cups. So Mahajime with that six of swords takes her job very seriously. Mahajime does not play about anything, her children or her people. Amen. Right. Next, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Mahajime has an excellent husband. Oh, my gosh. Mahajime has a beautiful husband who does not play about her. He does not play about Mahajime. And Mahajime does not play about him. But he has to remind Mahajime. Right. I'm the man. Penis. Testicles. Right. Don't ever forget. Right. So, he reminds Mahajime to, re to continue to wear those dresses and continue to be beautiful. We know that you are a tomboy hottie. We know that you are an excellent fighter. We know that you are an excellent warrior. And you, you know, going to be practicing to be a, a bomb-ass swordsman and, you know, an archer. Right. So, with that being stated, Mahajime's uh, man, husband, wants her to remain feminine. <laughs> he enjoys seeing her in her dresses. He enjoys seeing her in all of her beauty, all of her glory. And he um, sent her a message earlier through their son saying, tell your mother she is the most beautifulest woman I have ever seen in my life, right? Or the most beautifulest thing I've ever seen in my life, right? I can't remember which one now. But it was one or the other. And my son gave it to me, and I was in the middle of doing something. It was just like... <laughs> I just couldn't stop. I was smiling like 30 seconds. He is just too much for me. And I said, well, tell your father, he is the weirdest person I've ever met. And he loved it. Why? Because I, I love weird stuff. I love weird stuff more than anything. And I mean under my family. Right. So, with that being stated, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. So, he loves seeing her in her dresses. He loves seeing her feminine. He loves seeing her strength. But he's really enjoying seeing her in all of this, these dresses and makeup and stuff because Mahajime is definitely a tomboy, right? Mahajime didn't wear dresses. You had to beat Mahajime up to put her in a dress. <laughs> she'll wear makeup. She'll do her hair. But you had to beat Mahajime up to put her in a dress. So now he is loving seeing the feminine side of Mahajime, not just the tomboy side of Mahajime. 
Next, we have the Four of Wands in the Judgment card. Yes, their marriage has been under a lot of judgment. Mahajami and her husband has been under a lot of judgment, but it hasn't stopped their love one bit. It hasn't stopped their love one bit with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. It has not just it has not stopped their love one bit. It has continued to grow. Their love has continued to grow. He's continued to cultivate his wife and she's continued to cultivate him. So Mahajime and her husband's relationship through all of this turmoil has not changed. Right. They strengthened their own relationship. Right. Once upon a time I told y'all, if it takes people to strengthen your relationship, then right, you always gonna be in right, your relationship gonna go up and down. So Mahajime and her husband, they strengthened their relationship because they want to. It had nothing to do with what was going on. What was going on kept them stuck together, bonded like glue at all times. And he had to keep his eye on her at all times, right? She kept her eye on him at all times. But it didn't make their relationship stronger. They made their relationship stronger. And it, the bond cannot be broken whatsoever. So Mahajime and her husband have an excellent, excellent, excellent bond, an excellent, beautiful relationship. Uh, I believe Twitter has all of uh, my drawings, so too bad, so sad, all right? You see the pictures of her and her husband, right? They're gorgeous together. They're excellent together, and you guys are going to be so, so in love with them when you see them together, right? You're going to fall in love with them, right? It's no competition of, oh my gosh, you're the best couple ever. Get that competition stuff out your mind because Mahajma and her husband are not in competition with anyone. Mahajma and her husband mind their own business with that four of wands They in that judgment card. You continuously try and keep them in turmoil with you guys, but they don't have competition with anyone. They do their own thing. And that's also with that seven of pentacles and that king and that knight of swords, knight of wands. They do their own thing. They continuously separate themselves so they can spend time together doing their own thing. You say that they are in competition with you. No, they ain't. They ain't paying no attention. They're in competition with each other. And that was already explained through his wife. Right. So with that being said, Mahajima and her husband are totally into each other, totally paying each other attention and not the rest of the world. They're handling their business side of things. But work always has a shut up time. You work nine to five. We're just going to go with the basic old school. You work nine to five. Right. 501, you ain't still at your desk working because they told you to clock out at 5, right? 501, they say you're still in time, right? So 5 o'clock, you clocked out. You don't even want to be bothered no way because you know you ain't getting paid for it, right? Absolutely. So at 501, what you doing? You're thinking about your house, your home, your woman, your man, your children, right? You don't give a damn about your job because they said be out of my hair at 5 o'clock, right? So even though her and her husband are emperor and empress, they have a cutoff time for their work. They are always available. Because they are leaders, but guess what? Guess what? They put their family first, right? Not the government. Thank you. And that's just being stated, right? With that Knight of Wands, right? And that Seven of Pentacles, right? They know how to multitask. They know how to, what is important. They have a hierarchy, right? Of what's important to them, right? Their Maslow's Law, right? Is of things that are important to them, right? They have a Maslow's of their own. It's called the Loves, right? If you know anything about Maslow's, well, then you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, go look up Maslow's Law, right? Look up, look up a full pyramid. Look up a full chain, right? They Them and their family come first, right? Their work and everything is later, right? But they're always available, right, if you need them, right? Right. Now we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay, so this Queen of Cups, the first, you know, Queen of Cups that I was talking about, it just shows the strength of this woman that... Mahajime knows how to birth a nation. She knows how to birth her children. She knows how to birth, period. She knows how to birth everything. She knows how to be Gaia. That's basically what she's saying. She knows how to be Gaia, right? And this card wants to clarify that. The Hermit card. Dang. It's flying all over the place. The Hermit card wants to clarify those two Queens of Cups. Just letting you know that God chose who he wanted to choose. And he is so excited that he chose this star. She is the star. She is the center point. And he is so excited that he chose her and cultivated Mahajime to do the things that she do. Because there's nobody out here who can do what Mahajime do. You don't have the heart to. She does, right? There's a lot of men who can't do what Mahajime do because they don't have the heart, right? They may have the muscle. They may have the mind. But they don't have the heart, right? So, God said, I chose the right one with that hermit card to clarify the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So, let's get back to the Queen of Cups. So, 
She knows how to be Gaia. She knows how to birth. She knows how to give. She knows how to take. She knows how to receive, right? And it's also saying it's time for her with the second Queen of Cups to go and relax and chill and live her life, right? Go relax and chill. Also with that hermit card, it's saying it's time most definitely for you to go relax and chill. And God is clarifying that you will be removed from this situation, that Mahajime is going to be removed from this situation to relax and chill, right? She's done all her all her work. It's time for Mahajime to relax and chill. So the Hermit God is just saying that, number one, yes, she was relaxed and chill. Number two, God is glad that he picked you. And number three, yes, this is a confirmation from God that you will be relaxing and chilling because you're like, God, when? Mah Mahajime is like, God, when? And he's like, no, clarification. It's going to happen. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. With this Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, Mahajime is a great teacher. Mahajime is a great teacher. Mahajime has been teaching. Yes, Mahajime is awesome. A lot of people have come against Mahajime, but Mahajime always finds a way to get her, her point across, her, her students taught, her people fed. No matter what, Mahajime will always feed her people and teach her people, right? And she will always try and grab those Gentiles, right, who, who, who want to come on, right? Right. Mahajime will always grab the Gentiles the same way Jesus grabbed the Gentiles and brought them in, the same way the Jews pulled the Gentiles in, right? Divinia, excuse me, Mahajime is the same way. She pulls in the Gentiles that want to be pulled in. She doesn't leave any man behind and does not want to be left behind. She runs back herself and grabs them. And that's why she always gets pew. Yep, she always, right, she always touching that gun line and gets her behind toe up trying to help someone else. But guess what? As long as she can get someone else to freedom, she all right with it because all she getting is bruised, right? All she getting is bruised, but this other person is getting freedom. Amen. Right. Next, we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups, right? It's time for Mahajime to separate herself from everyone and live her life. Mahajime earned her people. Mahajime earned her castle. Mahajime earned her empressism. Mahajime earned everything because what did we say with that page of cups? Mahajime started as a child. Training. Six of Swords, right? All Mahajime's life she trained, right? Six uh, Page of Cups, Six of Swords. Mahajime trained all her life. So with this Ten of Swords and this Ten of Cups, it's time for Mahajime to separate herself from all of this folly and take her behind to where she's supposed to be, which is home to her nation, her people, her castle, her land, and live her beautiful, glorious life. Because what did I just tell you? She earned it. She worked hard for it. 24 years in the workforce, busting ass, working three jobs, right? Not consistently, right? But later on, working three jobs, two and three, working vicious overtime when only one job, right? So with that being stated, Mahajime has earned what she what she has. She's earned her beautiful twins that she has coming. She's earned her beautiful husband, right? Earned, right? She's earned her beautiful land. She's earned all of the money she's made. She's put in the work for the money she's made. No one else did. No one else did those drawings for her. No one does her skits for her, right? No one does anything for her. Her husband just makes the phone calls, right? People call and say, uh-uh, right. Her husband just makes the phone, right. Her husband just, right, handles the contracts. And the, right, her husband handles the contracts, not the contacts, right? Because <laughs> the contacts come looking for Mahajime, right? And her husband just handles the contracts, right? Exactly. Right. So, with that being said, all right, can we go back up to that sun card and knight of swords? It's just saying that Mahajime is totally protected and her gray roses and the scarabs are all out. There's nothing that can happen to Mahajime. Mahajime was born to never die from anything, right? And that's the beautiful secret to know. She was born to never die. She can get hurt. Yeah, she could get hurt. She could get, she, Mahajime's had, had surgeries. Mahajime's had broken bones. Mahajime's had stressed joints. Mahajime's had slit discs. Mahajime's gotten hurt. But Mahajime has not been killed, and neither have Mahajime's children. They are totally protected. There's security with Mahajime and her children at all times, right? And God and Michael and Jesus are the securities first, right? 
because God and Michael rode together hand in hand. And then Jesus come pimping behind him, right? Because God and Michael ain't going to let nothing happen to Jesus either because who is Jesus? God's son. You don't put your son before you unless you're an old man. And then your son say, Pop, sit down. I'm going to handle it, right? Right. But the Pops always step before his son, right? Always. As long as you're strong enough to step before your son, to keep him from getting hurt, you do so. But when you're old in age, then your son tell you to move out the way. Right. Right. Like my mom. Anybody come at me, my mother should still be saying, get out the way. What'd she do? But she, you know, got a little bum elbow. Right. <laughs> While that haymaker in over the years. Right. So she got a bum elbow. Right. Now I tell her, get out the way, mom. Go sit down. Boosh. Boosh. Right. So, Mahajime. Anything else? Right. Queen of Swords, right? Mahajime will always get her way with that Two of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Mahajime has always learned how to get her way. Always. Five of Cups. No matter what happens in Mahajime's life, Four of Cups, Mahajime has a plan to come up out of that with the Two of Swords and the Moon card. No matter what anybody tries to do to her, they don't understand that Mahajime has a beautiful bag of tricks. Seven of Pentacles, right? And she don't mind running up on anything or anyone. Knight of Wands. Because she, trust me, before she run up on you, her plan has already been laid. Right? With that Eight of Pentacles. Right? Her foundation has already been laid. So you'll never catch Mahajime slipping with that Eight of Swords. You'll never catch Mahajime slipping. Ace of Cups. Why? Because she got a pinky ring. Love you, Mahajime.